here, hard riding. Straight shooting. Stretch the handkerchief out like that, Keg. And if you tie a knot in it like this and you go, <coughs> come around. <laughs> now, this is what they call hatching the egg. The hand is quicker than the eye. Right, Mr. Marky? Place the egg here and you cover this with the handkerchief. And you say, spot your kazookas. And the egg has vanished. Well, I'll be <laughs> dog bited. <laughs> Open the box, Tag. <laughs> Secret compartment. You press the button before you swing the gavel, Tag. Gee. Gosh, Annie, I wish we'd keep touring with the show. Mr. Stubbs will teach me to juggle. Sorry, Tag, but the hometown's gonna be our last performance. We've had a lot of fun and we've raised a lot of money. And you've got to go back and start juggling that reading, writing, and arithmetic. Hold it fast, Eddie. And mind your manners. I want no monkey signs. That accent. It's a white horse. It's a Welshman. Where's my suitcase? I put it up on top of the other luggage. Why? Well, my gun belt's in it. If your hooks are up there, and if you'd be so kind, hand me that money box. Anything you say. Here it is. Give me the money box. Well, let's be sold. If it isn't Miss Annie Oakley. And caught without her guns, too. Oh, what a bloomin' shame. We'll just have to shoot it out another time. At your ladyship's convenience. Now, if you'd be so kind as to hand me that money box from underneath your dainty feet. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. We raised that money for charity. Where you went? Not for the young lady, I'd cut you all to ribbon. Come quickly, the money. Quickly. Come quickly. If the country just goes up, you'll have to cut back Sutter's Road. You and Mr. Stubbs better bandage loose hand than follow me. Get my gun belt tag. All right, Annie.
Well, he got away with most of it. Look, there's hardly 2,000 left. Here's a packet of ones. Got a hole plump through them. Well, it'll still spin. Think of those poor families that are counting on the rest of it. He got almost $3,000. Yes. Beats me, honey. It's spongy, and it's been torn by a slug. Maybe he shot it off his horse. Saddle Patty. I don't know. It's got blood on it. Maybe it's underlining for brass knuckles. Well, I'll take it back and show it to Lofty. Hmm. Don't say anything to anyone about this tag. Why not, Annie? Well, how did Welshman know that we were carrying the money box instead of Mr. Sills? Here you are, my good man. Keep the change. Thanks. <laughs> not at all, not at all. Just mention Sills Wonder Show to all your neighbors. <laughs> yes, all your neighbors. Everybody's got to see Sills Wonder Shows. <laughs> Yes, indeed. <laughs> and everybody will see it, too. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> there. <laughs> Getting you on real quick. Two colors. What do you think? A real humdinger. Mm-hmm. And you're referring to the young lady? The quality of my advertising. Both. Seems real excited. Wonder what's up. Can all that our money? You think they would have stopped at the bank first? Lofty! The Welchman's killed us up! Now, this raid definitely narrows down the Welchman's base of operations. He has to be working from a hideout within this circle. Because within the last two weeks, he struck here at the bank, here at the express office, here, here, and here. Does that mean anything special to anybody? Well, to me, it does. It looks like he's following the show. Right, Annie. You not only draw crowds, but you bring money into town. In that case, I'm quitting. I'll take the back pay due me out of the money Annie salvaged. Now, hold on, Lou. We need you. Besides, County Hospital's got a press claim on this here money. We must live, though, Mr. Seals. Yes, and I want mine before the Welshman gets it. You know he's going to come back and even up the score with Annie. Yeah, and run away with what money's left, so I'll divide it. I got the biggest claim. Hold it. All right, break it up, all of you. I'll impound this for safekeeping. If we don't recover the stolen money, this 2,000 will be divided fairly. Yeah, let's be sensible and calm down. Now, come on. Let's get out of here. Lou, I'm going to take them horses around back like I told you. Start. Pick up them old cars over at Roger's drugstore and use my fleet to four star. Annie, I think it would be safer if you got out of town for a while. Look, why don't you ride over to Elliot and stay with your uncle? Nothing doing. I haven't worked two months to disappoint a lot of needy people. You know, Lofty, I think somebody connected with the show is helping the Welshman. Any idea who? No. Oh, but I shot this off the Welshman, or his horse, one of the two. Now, if you can just figure out what it is, it might be a lead. Funny looking stuff. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. <laughs> well, gotta start someplace. Check with you later. someone I've never seen. And two kids if you like it. You're getting paid, aren't you? Here's your share for this morning. And ten bob extra for grog. The deputy Lofty Craig. I hear he's got your hideout narrowed down to a ten-mile circle. Oh. And where do you place it? Just north of town. Well, 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 bless his soul. <laughs> he's got a good nose, hasn't he? Well, of course you realize if he gets his hooks on me, it'll be your hide too. I know, that's why I want to quit. We'll both quit. That is, as soon as I get the money back her highness stole from me this morning. How are you going to do that? She's no dummy. Don't you worry. 
and see her pigtails, girl? Now, here's what I want you to do. And do you do it proper? So the spongy thing can be important. I agree. Maybe it's holster lining. Maybe it's part of a friction grip to his gun handle. But finding his hideout is a more direct attack. Well, what about the old Borglum place, Lofty? Well, I'd say that'd be the most likely spot in the area, Annie. This time I really got it. Yeah. Oh, all right. I placed the magic kerchief over the leg like so. And then, Bunchy Gazookas! <laughs> out front. Check the safe. Cheers. It's been fooled with. Well, open it quick and see if the money's gone. We've just been outsmarted. Come on. Stay there and watch the safe. I didn't even get a look at him. You go back to your office, Lofty. I'm going after Tag. Yes, sir, Tag, my boy. Like I was telling you before, them's all the same fella. My little brother, Jimmy. <laughs> Greatest quick change artist in the world. Impersonate anybody. Thousand dialects. Bubba Wise, he got to playing bunko artist. That performance to tell me was a Palermo way, where the posse applauded it with bullets. <laughs> That's very interesting, Mr. Sills. Which picture is the real Jimmy? The bold one. Why? Well, it's just like you said. You heard he was killed. Maybe he's good enough to impersonate a corpse. No, there's nothing on file like it, Annie. Well, I'm still gonna mail it to the marshal's office. I've seen that face and those eyes somewhere in these parts before. And what's more, I'm darn sure he's still alive. Well, could be. Right now, I think we ought to head out to that Brooklyn place. Yeah. One 
person would live here. Yeah, Borglum's ghost. Well, let's put the horses in the back and take a quick look around anyway. Well, I'll be darned. He must rent or borrow a horse in town, then ride out here and use this one on the raids. Well, he still has to change into that black costume. Let's find out where. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. The potato cellar. Inviting as a coffin. Yeah. What's this setup? Well, if you ask me, it looks like a dressing table for a crooked actor. Masquerading as the Welshman. Here, I'll get that. I kind of thought his accent was a little phony. your friend, the Welchman. I've never heard of him. Look, pal, you're gonna get 20 years anyway for aiding a killer. That's right, unless you want to do some talking. What'd you come here for? To burn those clothes? Or to get rid of that white stallion. 20 years is an awful long time. Who is he? All right, all right, I work for him, but I've never seen him. Oh, that's a laugh. Hannah, so help me. He sends me my orders by mail, and he pays me the same way. Here, take a look at this if you don't believe me. What are your next instructions? I'm to meet him at Harding's Furniture Store this afternoon while you're on the show platform. All right, Mr. Marzi. You'll meet him. Only I'll be there to meet him right along with you. What about that spongy object he asked you to steal? Did he tell you where it was? No. Never mind. I think I know what it is anyhow. Inside, I'll jump through. And my good friend, let me advise you that her shooting has not been confined to the show platform. She has defended herself in the wilds against the most ferocious animals. Oh, Tag, instead of going out there with me today, I want you to watch the audience. Keep your eyes open. Right? Right. Mr. Sills, do you think you could take Tag's place today? I'd be pleased to. But why? Well, I... I didn't want to tell you this, but 
I'm almost sure that your brother Jimmy is the Welshman. What? Who's he at? Right here in town. But Annie, he ain't going out there. You can't. I've got to. I give you that amazing artist and greatest exponent of marksmanship of all time, the one and only Annie Oakley. I don't get it. He's never been late before. Not soon. Looks like our little girl Annie was right again. Hey, what are you doing that for? You stay here just in case Welchie does show up. And now, dear friends, don't make any noise. Don't move an eyelash and pray. May there be no disconcerting racket. He didn't show up. That's all we need to know. Show's over, folks. The man is fresh out of noses. Come on. 80, 85, 90, 95, 3,000, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Hey, Annie! I found another money box stashed under the wagon floorboard. Silver dollars. Look! Probably from the raid on Maury's Tavern last Friday. This is not a bad take for the final performance. Not bad, not bad at all. Plus $5,000 reward money split four ways. Now, don't try to in on any of this. It all belongs to the county hospital fund. And stop palming that loose chain. <laughs> 